Greetings, Galactic Earth Angelics of the 144. Welcome. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. Happy New Moon in Libra. Today we have a powerful event that synchronizes with this powerful new moon. We reach the exact center of the Mayan Zolkin matrix with Hunabku, the galactic center, white cosmic dog. 13 orc it's a 1313 galactic portal today so we have a couple very special transmissions for you today one a very special ceremony from the archangelic calendar for this hunter new moon hunter's new moon in libra and a special transmission for this alignment with the galactic center zero point we connect the zero point center the still white magnetic light at the center of all things with the center of the scales, the balance, the equilibrium, the neutrality, the equality. In Buddhism, we call the middle path, which is the still white magnetic light at the center of all things. Buddha consciousness, the I am presence, Christ consciousness, cosmic awareness. This pure awareness goes by many names, but all concepts are fingers pointing to the moon, to the moon of enlightenment, of awakening, of truth, that is beyond all words and concepts, beyond time and space. So we begin with our divine sister of the light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Hunabku, Galactic Center, 25th of September, 2022, with White Cosmic Dog, 13 Oak, Keen 130, Endless Source Love, Galactic Center Hunabku. Today we arrive at the galactic center of the sacred Zolkin calendar, meaning we are at zero point, in which the Maya call Hunabku, the galactic butterfly, the galactic central sun, and full alignment with Source. So make a wish as you have direct access to the God Force today. On this day we arrive at the central core point in the Mayan Zolkin calendar. It is denoted by Keen 130, White Cosmic Dog, the Cosmic Heart of Creation. Hunabku is what the Mayans referred to as the Galactic Butterfly. In the Yucatec Mayan language, Hunabku actually means Source, the One, Giver of Movement and Measure, the Galactic Center, God. Modern day Mayan daykeeper Hunbat's main calls Hunabku the only giver of movement and measure, the universal consciousness and prime organizer of our galaxy. The Mayans believe the galactic butterfly resides in the center of the Milky Way galaxy. To them, this being symbolizes all of the consciousness of all creation that has ever existed in the galaxy. This Hunabku represents the gateway to Source. From Source, all energy is then separated into yin and yang components as depicted in the black and white Mayan symbol, which is very similar to the symbol of the Chinese Tai Chi, the yin-yang symbol. Following on, all energies are then segregated into the five elements of creation, fire, water, earth, air, wood, ether, metal either of yin origin or of yang origin. Thus all energy ultimately derives from source. The Hunabku symbol depicts the galactic butterfly spreading its wings and flying in all four directions. Butterflies also were representative of the Mayans' ancestors that have returned to visit the physical. The symbol of the galactic butterfly is a powerful Mayan reminder of reaching out to actively unite with this consciousness. Not only is the existence and location of Hunabku the basis for the Mayan Zolkin calendar, the Mayans regarded Galactic Center as the ultimate adjudicator of the entire future of humanity. Cyclical energy bursts of consciousness from the Creator in the center of the galaxy is what directs everything that happens here on Earth. 
It is also where new stars and planets are born and is the gateway to other galaxies. Hunabku, according to the Maya, is the consciousness which organizes all matter from a whirling disk into stars, planets, and solar systems. Hunabku is the mother womb, which is constantly giving birth to new stars, and it gave birth to our own sun and planet Earth. The Maya also believe that the Creator directs everything that happens in our galaxy from its center through the emanation of periodic consciousness energy bursts. These bursts have amped up over the last few years, months, days, hours, minutes. Some of these ancient Mayan beliefs have been verified by modern day astronomers and quantum physicists not that long ago. They have recently become reconscious that the center of the galaxy contains a black hole that swallows and gives birth to stars and of the existence of low frequency radio waves emanating from it could it be that one of the purposes of this energy from the center of the galaxy is to give humanity access to the collective consciousness where all knowledge from the mind of god is contained hunabku is seen as the creator god of new beginnings According to the Mayans, Hunabku unites what we on earth have perceived for thousands of years as opposing forces, the essence of duality, masculine and feminine, conscious and unconscious, objective and subjective, analytical and intuitive, external and internal, right and wrong. As we seek to raise our consciousness and make the soul connection to source, we can benefit from this portal and bathe in these creation energies from which our souls were birthed. Each individual soul fragment that we are expressing in our physicality will be able to find the perfect balance in our dualistic natures, synchronizing them with the law of oneness and returning to unity consciousness. Blessed be what a divine gift is bestowed upon us from our divine creator. Ayum Hunabku Eva Maya E Maho Ah Yum Hunabku Eva Maya E Maho Ah Yum Hunabku Eva Maya E Maho All hail the harmony of mind and nature Namaste In la Ketch a la Keen Christina White Magnetic World Bridger Keen sixty six and now for a special ceremony, puja prayer, from our friends at archangelicalendar.com. New Hunter's Moon, Puja and Libra. We use nature as a rhythmic reminder, a friend, an ally, and an inspiration. Everything said and done can be done in a divine light if we keep this underlying tone. The following words hail from many different traditions. The start of the sacred intentions. Prepare your sacred space in the center of physical reality. Implement an atomic shake by purposefully rattling physical reality down to the atomic level. Imagine and feel the atoms of your physical reality in a state of hyper movement. Envision everyone joining us today holding hands around a sacred fire. Face east. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the east and bring forth the perfect energy to bring forth positive circumstances, emotions, and things to my life and the life of collective humanity. Engulf physical reality and its dimensions in rainbow breeze while invoking the emotion of excitement. Face southeast. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the southeast and ensure my subconscious mind and inner higher self are ever present by evoking the metaphysical power of the winds of change. Engulf physical reality in its dimensions in rainbow flames, breeze, winds of change, while evoking the feeling of relief. Face south. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the south to bring forth the speed of fire into this effort of calling forth purposeful circumstance and quantum favor. Engulf physical reality and all its dimensions in rainbow flame while evoking gratitude. Face southwest. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the southwest to reflect upon the wonder already in my life.
By doing so, I bring forth the vibration of those things and replicate them in new ways. List, replay, and feel the things you are grateful for. Face west. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the west and evoke the power of water to break through all barriers that may be in my way as I make all things bend in my favor, engulf physical reality and all its dimensions in rainbow water. Face northwest. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the northwest and put specifics on the receptive energy all around me. I am well aware that the energy awaiting to become physical is ancient energy transformed countless times. In your mind's eye, create an ideal world for all and put your personal life in it. Face north. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the north and solidify these intentions with the power of Mother Earth. Things that were once notions become formed through cooperation with Gaia. Evoke the power of Mother Earth and engulf all you have envisioned in rainbow plasmas it has now become form. Face northeast. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the northeast. Travel the multiverse and its unlimited possibilities, and move to a timeline where all that I wish to experience is already in form and awaiting my arrival. Envision a beautiful staircase to the timeline just created. Take the stairs to the timeline and make sure you feel yourself rise as you do. Feel the height. Connect with all directions. I face my mind, body, and divine essence in all the unnamed directions to explore the majesty of the new timeline to which I have just attached myself. I am free to enjoy my life and my power. This effort must go beyond envisioning. You must feel, hear, see, smell, and taste the new timeline. Bring your mental gaze deep within. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to call forth the inner divine to this moment. In this silent reflection, I evoke infinitely expanding Creator Source directly. And now meditate. Now I'll play one of my songs on flute for all of you, pre-recorded. So everyone joining us today can meditate together for the next seven minutes or so.
and upon coming out of meditation, please speak the following aloud. Metakwiosin, 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 ha ho. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed new moon in Libra and a most powerful, synchronistic, still point of the center of the galaxy, the center of your being, your awareness, Hunabku, the galactic butterfly, Wakantanka, the great mystery. If you'd like to support us in our work and mission, you could do so at the links at our site, egolovecondor.com. And be sure to join us tonight for our full daily transmissions from our sacred New Earth scribes. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.